Congratulations on the purchase of your Wavewalker Doro. It's designed to give you years of fun, easy use. Here are the directions to assemble your boat. Now before beginning, make sure you have the following two tools. A Phillips screwdriver and a 3 8 inch combination wrench. Now when you receive your boat, the parts will be in a plastic bag. So begin the assembly by removing the rudder parts from the bag on the rear deck and laying out the rudder assembly with the parts attached. You will have the following parts. Two three quarter inch long number 12 Phillips screws with jam nuts. Four three quarter inch long half inch Phillips screws. One three quarter inch long number eight Phillips metal screw. One black plastic clip. One three inch clevis pin with circular cotter pin. One quarter inch nylon washer one rudder mount bracket, and one rudder retract bracket with attached cable. Next, attach the rudder mount bracket and rudder retract bracket with the 3 quarter inch Phillips screws. Making sure to get them as tight as possible without stripping them. Then, attach the rudder control bracket with the other two 3 quarter inch Phillips screws, also making sure to get them as tight as possible without stripping them. Now, slip the black plastic clip over the steering cable and attach the clip to the rear deck with the 3 quarter inch long number 8 Phillips screw into the hole as shown. Next, install the rudder assembly into the rudder mount bracket using the 3 inch clevis pin and nylon washer, making sure the washer is at the bottom. The pin will slide through the top hole in the bracket, through the hole in the rudder housing, and through the bottom hole of the bracket. Be sure to secure the clevis pin with the cotter pin. You don't want to lose it, especially when you're on the water. Now, connect the steering yoke on the steering cable to the rudder housing using one of the 3 quarter inch long number 12 Phillips screws and nylon jam nuts. Make sure not to over tighten these screws and make sure they can turn slightly. Next, reconnect the steering handle by removing the two Phillips screws and number eight Phillips screw from the retract cleat, which will temporarily remove the steering handle bracket. Then reconnect the yoke and steering handle with a three quarter inch number 12 Phillips screw and jam nut, making sure not to over tighten with the screw still able to turn slightly. Now you're ready to place the drive frame on the hole and attach the half inch clamp brackets and screw knobs. Congratulations, you're ready to use your Wavewalker Doro. Make sure that you rinse the hole and all the parts after use so that salt water and other impurities don't cause deterioration of the parts. This will extend the life of your Wavewalker Doro.